respect every athlete that wears the Nigerian colors. It's a commitment, it's a sacrifice. And as minister, I've made every effort to make sure that they're fully supported. But I also work within the system where allocation of resources uh, is based uh, on certain critical factors. What we have done is to make sure that we push the files, we do the documentation, and the process is ongoing. I share the pains. This is allowances from 2017 when I was not even a minister. Uh, but is it something that government has, on an incremental basis, tried to address? I know that part of this money have been paid. As resources become available to government, they're able to meet most of the demands that come to, to government from different MDAs. Uh, in this case, I understand the pain, but I want to put it on record that the ministry has never slept at the switch. We bear out the dates, the letters we've written, the meetings we've had at the ministry level, we've made very robust case. And we have received very good signals that very soon these uh, payments will be made. That's very important. Uh, so I want to urge them for patience. Uh, it's important to work with government uh, when it comes to this respect uh, because we're leveraging just government resources. But this is a ministry and a minister that also work for uh, athletes' welfare uh, through the Adopt an Athlete program. We raise so much money uh, for our athletes individually. And it brings me to the question of $230,000, which was raised on the, the Adopt an Athlete uh, for, the, for the basketballers, even when they were not aware. And we made sure that money was paid into the MBBF CBN account. I don't have a right to take that money. The ministry doesn't have a right to take that money, but we can give directive. And that's what we've done. They have so the ministry was waiting for the account numbers of the male basketball players so that that money can be sent. These are foreign account numbers. The CBN, it's better to treat all of these accounts in a sing, this transfer as a single transfer because of the processes, the documentation, and all of that. And that's what has been ongoing. And just as recent as last week, we just said, oh, let's go ahead and pay the female basketball players and then whenever the other account numbers come from the male basketball players then it can be paid from their uh, can be paid to them through the CBN and that's what's ongoing so the allegation out there is so fragrant and false that ministry officials have shared the money where's the evidence we got evidence to show that from the day that money hit that account up until yesterday and today not a dime has been moved out of that they have the secretary general who keeps all the records the money is with the CBN 